This figure is a right triangle. The hypotenuse of the triangle is 16 meters, and the area of the triangle is 64 square meters. If this angle is theta, find the value of theta. Note that. This diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let the height and base of the triangle be x and y. Since the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height, it follows that 1 over 2 times x times y is equal to 64. By cross multiplication, x times y will be equal to 2 times 64, which will give us xy is equal to 128. Let's call this equation 1. Next, from Pythagoras' theorem, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16 squared. 16 squared is 256. So, x squared plus y squared is equal to 256. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 1, if we make x the subject of the formula, we will have x is equal to 128 over y. Let's call this equation 3. If we substitute x with 128 over y in equation 2, we will have 128 over y squared plus y squared is equal to 256, which will give us 16384 over y squared plus y squared is equal to 256. Next, let's clear the fraction by multiplying through by y squared. y squared will cancel y squared. And we are left with 16384 plus y power 4 is equal to 256y squared. And this can be written as y power 4 minus 256y squared plus 16384 is equal to 0. If we take y squared to be p, this will give us p squared minus 256p plus 16384 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. Going further, we are going to factorize this equation. To factorize this equation, First, we multiply the first term and the third term of this equation. Doing so will give us 16384p squared. Next, we find the factors of 16384p squared, that when added together will give us minus 256p, that is, the second term of this equation. These factors are minus 128p and minus 128p. Next, we replace minus 256p with minus 128p, and minus 128p. Doing so will give us p squared, minus 128p, minus 128p, plus 16384, is equal to 0. Next, we factor out. From the first bracket. P will factor out to leave us with P minus 128. From the second bracket, 128 will factor out to leave us with P minus 128, which is equal to 0. Note that these two brackets must be the same. Hence, we can say that P minus 128 times P minus 128, is equal to 0. Which can be written as, p, minus 128 squared, is equal to 0. Taking the square root of both sides will give us, p, minus 128, is equal to 0. 
if we take minus 128 to the right side, P will be equal to 128. Let's recall that we take Y squared to be P. So, it follows that Y squared is equal to 128. Taking the square root of both sides will give us Y is equal to 8 root 2. Now we know the value of y, let's go ahead and find x. To do so, let's substitute y, with 8 root 2, in equation 3. And this will give us x, is equal to 128, over 8 root 2. 128, divided by 8, is 16. So, x, is equal to 16 over root 2. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 2. And this will give us x is equal to 16 root 2 over 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Hence, x is equal to 8 root 2. Now, let's observe that x is equal to 8 root 2 and y is also equal to 8 root 2. Since x is equal to y, it follows that the triangle is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, theta is equal to 45 degrees. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.